a one-on-one interview, City Police Superintendent Marceline Morapo revealed that many cases of gender-based violence and rape go unreported. In addition, Morapo stated that among the common challenges that law enforcement face is victims' reluctance to report cases due to fear, shame, stigma, traditional beliefs that abuse signifies love or dependence on their abusers. Morapo also underscored the importance of the police's victims' support unit, which provides dedicated assistance to survivors. The challenges that we face is the, the reluctant from the victims. By this, uh, I'm referring to victims not coming forth when they want to report uh, these cases. Some of them, they, they do that out of fear. Some of them, it's out of shame and uh, stigma. These are the, some of the challenges, and the other challenges is cultural belief. There are those that believe that uh, if your partner uh, is assaulting you, if you are assaulted by the partner, it's a sign of love and it's a sign of disciplining you. You will find that there are some parents that will tell even their, their children that do not report your husband loves you or your partner loves you, that's why he's beating you. Just. It's like a sign to show uh, the love that they have for you. And also um, dependency uh, syndrome. This is for those that uh, do not, uh, are unable to provide for themselves. They depend on their partners. Even if they are assaulted or raped, they will not report these cases because they feel like if their partner is arrested, how will they survive? How will they live? Who will uh, um, support them and their children. Because of this now, some cases end up not being reported. Um, from our side, what we usually do uh, as first responders, when we receive a case of GBV or rape, we will do crisis intervention. This includes immediate response from our side. We will send out our teams there, our victim support unit or any police officer nearby. The scene, they will go out to attend and then they will assess where it needs referral, we'll pick the victim up or we'll invite those that are specialized in rape cases or GBV. Activist Rosa Namises stated that combating gender-based violence requires educating women and involving men in the conversation. She noted that demonstrations are less effective and advocated for indoor discussions with women and families. Additionally, Nami says urged fathers to protect and not sexualize their daughters during puberty, emphasizing the need for educational centers to raise awareness. It is important for education and awareness because sometimes most of our people are not really well informed about, for example, just their basic rights. And they are also not well informed of how the consequences can be for such acts that they do. Another effective strategy was to bring men on board so that they can hear what the women are saying about violence. What I think we should not so much focus on is these demonstrations, marching, but we march, but really we don't reach anybody. So. The indoor talks, the family talks, maybe the teenage time or the puberty time is maybe a time where fathers think that uh, this child is now ready for sex. But if they are informed that they have to protect and not even think about that child's body, we could have a center where you bring your people on a regular basis and then we train them and then we talk to them. City Police Superintendent Marceline Morapo has urged communities nationwide to report cases of abuse, including those involving neighbors, stressing that it is crucial to act before such incidents lead to fatalities.